Good morning, everybody. This is Diane Doyle in Plant Based Dallas. And I wanted to show you how easy gardening can be. Um, it doesn't have to be as huge as mine is, but if you start off with just one little section, um, you can grow it from there. Um, these plastic containers are food storage containers that uh, we cut into sections, and th those provide um, sectioned off areas. I've got radishes growing here. I've got carrots. I've got cilantro and some sorrel growing there. And I have a new Mabuna green, which I'm really excited about. But what I want to show you is this keyhole garden. This keyhole garden, and you can Google it. Um, the reason it's called keyhole because it's a circle with one section cut out of it. And that section is to allow you to get to the center of the garden and access the compost. And basically, you use a uh, size of about a six foot diameter and you can construct the keyhole with anything you'd like. This was our very first one and we accidentally used cement instead of mortar. So we've got a little bit of um, repair work after about six years that we need to do on it. But basically six feet in diameter and about three or four feet high. This one might be just a tad bit higher. And you construct a compost basket that goes down the center of it all the way to the ground. And it has to be made out of really, really heavy duty wire. Don't use chicken wire because the weight of the dirt will collapse it. So you need to use a really heavy duty um, wire, heavy duty fencing and double or triple it like we did. And um, maybe 12 inches in diameter for the compost. So the first thing you do is you build your circle with a little pie piece cut out of it. And again, we have six feet in diameter for the circle. And um, you build a compost basket made out of really, really heavy duty fencing that won't collapse under the pressure. Now this whole thing was not filled with dirt. The bottom of it was filled with logs and sticks probably at least half of it. Then the next level is leaves, tons and tons of leaves, and only about the uh, top, maybe 12 inches are filled with dirt. And this thing um, will continue to drop season after season, and so you have to continually add more dirt to the top of it every season because the logs are breaking down, the leaves are breaking down, and the um, idea is that you add your compost in this basket and it continues to break down and feed the rest of the garden. So uh, here's another keyhole that we did. They're all different sort of shapes and sizes, but basically they're the same, six feet in diameter and three to four feet in height, or three to five, four feet in height. Now, if that um, looks too overwhelming for you, you can always go for just a raised bed. We put these two raised beds in um, this past year, and these are gonna be uh, pretty easy to cover for the winter. Um, I still have some summer things in them, but I'm converting them to um, plants that can hold over for the winter. Your mustard greens, all your cruciferous cabbage. These are some mustard greens right here. And um, uh, more cabbage. Uh, and I will convert all these in my other raised bed. And, and this raised bed, um, these are probably 14 inches. I don't have a thing, they're at least 12 inches. And um, you don't want them any wider than three feet because they're too hard to access. You wanna be able to access the whole garden from one side. So you don't want them really, really wide. Uh, keep your gardens, um, so that you can maintain them. So uh, three to four feet in width and um, whatever length you have room for. So let me show you what I've got growing in these keyholes. I've got radishes along the circumference of it and I'll have to thin those obviously. And I threw in a bunch of onion or garlic. You can see these little green things coming up. 
This is Peperonia, which is a summer green, which I will pick all of it um, before the cold weather gets here. And I've got my basil, which I will pull up and hang upside down and dry and then use all winter. And over here, I just threw a bunch of arugula seeds. And so I'm gonna have to come out here and thin these out, pick it and give it away to friends as well. And um, let me show you in this, um, look at all these collards I have. So I'm gonna have to do the same thing with my collard greens. Whoops, I spelled that wrong. Okay, so I have all these collard green plants that I will need to thin and place other places in my garden and give to friends and family. Looks like I've got an arugula here growing up. So I've got all my collards that I'm gonna thin and they will last all winter. I planted something new this year, tat soy, and um, I don't know exactly, it's some, something in the cruciferous and it looks a little bit like spinach. So we're looking forward to um, harvesting that. And I've got my kale, um, uh, kale growing, and obviously I'm gonna thin that because kale and collards, they need lots and lots and lots of room. And um, here's another mustard green. I've got my beets right here, a few beets, and I do need to plant some more. And here are more beets. And you know, these beet greens are delicious. We, I come out here uh, every few days, well, once a week maybe, and pick a ton of greens, all mixed up, all different kinds of greens. Here's some Swiss chard that over summered and I've cut it back. Um, but I just mix all my greens together, cut them all up, put them in a jar, and use those throughout the week in everything I cook. So um, here's my third keyhole, and I've got uh, more tat soy that I'm gonna need to thin, and um, waiting for spinach and lettuces to come up there. But again, if you want to start with gardening, just start with something simple, one little plot. And I believe me, you're going to get hooked on this. This is so wonderful coming out here and picking things to eat. I've got peppers, I've got green beans, I've got okra, 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 okra everywhere. So um, okra goes in everything right now. It goes in our morning berry bowls because once you add blueberries to your morning oat groats and microwave it or heat it up everything turns purple so it doesn't matter if you have okra in it or anything else just add all that good nutritious food that builds that immune system so it keeps us all from getting sick and there's my compost pile i'm starting to put in all the dead refuse and i'm going to be hunting down for bags of leaves that people are throwing out and um, covering up my compost pile Here's some long Chinese long beans. These green beans are heavenly, heavenly, and they just keep on producing. So again, start simple, and even on your raised beds, the bottom half of it should be twigs. You can put a couple logs in there and big leaves, and then only about the top six inches. You see, I, I already need to add dirt to this. Look at how um, I have, you know, five to six inches that it's already gone down. So you don't need to fill the whole thing with dirt. Fill the bottom of it with items that can compost and break down and um, be food for the things that are growing in it. And I think the most important thing about uh, gardening is to find out in your area what grows in winter and what grows in summer and don't try and grow something out of season because you won't have any luck. And you definitely need sun for your garden so don't go to a lot of uh, time and effort and build something that doesn't get much sun you need to have sun um, over here i've got some moringa growing it grows into a huge tree it's a tropical plant so i'm going to need to harvest all this before the cold weather comes and we just chop this up and put it in our mixed greens and here's some sorrel some green sorrel again just another green that we use and as you can see, um, there's a bunch of Christmas limas growing up there on the fence and they are just now finally starting to uh, set beans because it was way too hot in Dallas. And that is not a summer crop. I've come to find out through trial and error. So they like it 
uh, in the nice cool weather. Alrighty, you all uh, send me messages, text me. You can find me on Plant Based Dallas. On, um, I have a website, I have an Instagram, and I am so happy to uh, help you start a garden. Uh, you can do it and you can enjoy coming out here and harvesting your own food. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.